This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled Airports. It's been a while since I've talked about airports. In the past, I enjoyed air travel, but now look for excuses not to go, thereby avoiding the headaches associated with it. Suffice it to say, I find travel to be more laborious than exciting. I think the novelty wore off when they introduced the security checkpoints back in the early 1980s. Now we have to strip and be subject to cavity searches by people who flunk their proctology exams in a foreign country. You really have to hand it to the terrorists for creating a billion dollar industry and putting the homeless to work as security inspectors. Over the public address system, you routinely hear the message, please report any suspicious behavior. Hell, the whole thing is suspicious. People are plugged in and tuned out. Those people talking on cell phones look delusional as they wander aimlessly through the airport, seemingly talking to themselves. Most are dressed if they're going on a camping trip or bombing run. Even the security people look like they speak a foreign language, certainly not English. Report suspicious behavior? To whom? Mohammed, the head of airport security? I've also noticed airports are now much more handicap accessible than in years past but perhaps they have gone overboard on some things. For example, when I went to the men's room recently, I noticed there was an infant changing table. Okay, fine. Men change diapers now, no big deal. Over the table hung a sign denoting the changing table. But in addition to plain English on the sign, I noticed a braille version for the blind. This got me thinking how a blind person would even find the spot and use it properly. I imagined a person groping around a strange airport and restroom until he finally arrived at the station only to miss the sign, as it was displayed a tad high and inset, making it easy to miss. He might even end up circling the restroom for hours to find the right spot to change diapers. God knows what he will use if he misses it. Luggage carousels haven't really changed over the years. The baggage handlers still send out the same 100 empty suitcases before any of the bags from your flight shows up. Actually, I think it's a stalling tactic as they rip through your luggage to find the good stuff. The Gestapo runs the ground transportation for both pickup and drop-off, complete with bomb-sniffing dogs, mirrors to look under your car, and tow trucks. Most do nothing but wave their arms incessantly, blow their whistle, and yell at you to move your car. I still haven't developed the knack for picking up someone while the car is still moving. I guess I need more practice. So, do I see anything suspicious at the airport? You tell me. Friends, keep the faith.